Alright, welcome to part three of uh, A Day in the Life of me. <laughs> um, this will be part three, kind of the, the evening and the night. And I just kind of thought, I don't know, I was filming stuff early this afternoon and in the middle of the day, and so I figured I'd do round it off with a part three. I'm about to, uh, just got back from part two where I went out and did, did a half mile run, went up and did some exploring, found a lake, so you can go check that video out, that's uh, yeah, pretty interesting video to say the least, I got lost in the woods, in, in, well not lost in the woods, but I went down the wrong way through the woods and stuff, and um, but found my way to the lake, did a run around the lake and uh, was uh, not very successful, but either way, did let some vlogging down there, and now I'm back home, and it is uh, it's about 20 past 7 in the evening, going to Skype with my mum because... Um, uh, people who follow my channel, my videos, will know that me and Connie, my fiance, we have uh, Lily here, our cat, we've had for four years, and then the year after that, three years ago, we got another cat called Shelby. Uh, we couldn't afford to bring them both over here to Norway, so Shelby is still back home with my mum, who has another couple of cats, and she's been going through a rough time just over-grooming herself and stuff. We thought it was from stress, but she doesn't seem stressed at all, and so my mum's having to buy some stuff to like treat her, see if anything will work, and she's got some new stuff from the vets, uh, alternate uh, flea and worm treatment that they get every year, and so my mum need, needed money for that, so... Um, but she needs money for that, so I'm going to try and attempt to send her money through PayPal, <laughs> which is going out one of my paychecks, which is another great you know, thing that I'm getting some money in now. Uh, so I'm going to send her that money over and uh, hopefully guide my mum through accepting the PayPal <laughs> payment, uh, which will be interesting because she's uh, not very great with computers and stuff. She has a laptop, and uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to Skype with her now, and then uh, I'll, I'll continue on the video. Try to turn the Wi-Fi on and off. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> didn't say you were, I'm just asking. Well, yeah, you'll probably get an email notifying you about the money that was sent. <laughs> Shut yeah. up! What? What's the matter? Lily? Lily? Oh, now you stop. Now you stop. Really? Should be it now. Finally got there in the end. <laughs> All right, so I felt like uh, just filming some of that. Uh, I should have kept on filming actually because uh, after we got the uh, the PayPal stuff out of the way and it was all sorted and good, um, we just started having a little chat, you know, and always have a laugh with my mum. But uh, we were reminiscing about when I used to play video games when I was younger. And I used to be like, I can't do it! It's impossible! No one can do it! And my mum was just like, doing an impression of me as a kid, and it was so funny, and I was just like, yeah. It was just ridiculous how like, I would get so wound up by games and just be like, near tears, just saying, it can't be done, it can't be done, like, just, it's impossible! And then like, ten minutes, my mum would come in and go, you know, did you get past that bit in the game? Oh yeah, I've done that now. <laughs> yeah. And she also just said that, um, she was always dreading the next level if I couldn't get past it. I thought it was a great quote. And speaking of games, this leads in right into what I'm going to want to talk about or show you it is the 8th of October and uh, Star Wars Battlefront is coming out next month. And I'm not really huge on kind of the, the kind of the style of game that it is. And I haven't played any of the previous Star Wars Battlefront games, but they've put so much attention to detail into making this look and feel like, you know, an authentic representation of being in the movies that um, I'm really interested. And so it's the 8th of October. A month before the game comes out, but the the beta is available worldwide. No signing up. Here we go. PS4 uh, shop. This just came available um, literally 40 minutes ago. So you got Battlefront there. Uh, 65 quid. Jesus Christ. Peas and rice. Uh, so you got the pre-order and stuff, but you also got the beta. Or you can buy the digital movie collection. Of course, they're always trying to shill. Another way to, to put your money into the films, but let's have a look. Beta available now. Let's click. See if we can download it. I know it's, um, yeah, that's the Battlefront beta. It's free. So we're going to click on that. Download it. I think it's about 7 gigs, so it'll take a while. There's me in the reflection of the TV there. And, uh, yeah, okay, it's downloading. Awesome. So I'm going to go have a shower now after my little run. Uh, oh, it's almost 8 gigabyte actually. So that'll probably take a while, and then I'll probably try that out later. And I also want to watch a horror film, because it's horror month. Um, 
obviously trying to keep up with watching new horror films. I don't think I watched one last night. Did I watch one last night? No, I didn't at all. So yeah, I got films to catch up on actually. I don't think I'll get two done tonight. Maybe I'll try and do two tomorrow, but uh, definitely going to watch one tonight. Maybe one of the Universal uh, Monsters uh, films. <laughs> The, the download bar isn't even moving. Let's see if I can have a look at the percentage on um, the download bar on the PS4. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'll even get the game. Well, I probably will get the game, um, but maybe not until Christmas. Uh, oh, three hours left. Whew, Jesus, okay, this might... I might not be playing this tonight, then. Although that works in nicely, because i got to make some dinner for myself. Connie's not home from work yet. I'll have a shower. I'll put some of the videos together from earlier for part two of this day in the life three part vlog this trilogy of videos that makes up the a day in the life experience and uh, have some food uh, maybe watch a film while this is downloading and play it maybe just give it a whirl later on tonight at the end of the night so there we go off to have a shower which uh, will be oh it's, it's going down now the download is picking up there's two hours left so yeah I'll, I'll, I'll pop that on later and uh Maybe I can record some footage from it and, and pop it in at the end of this video. I don't know. That'd be cool. I don't know whether they might block you from recording footage because it's the beta. We'll see. Anyway, um, I'm going to go have a shower. That was that, that seemed really like suggestive and like, oh, yes, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be naked in a few minutes, you know. I didn't mean it to come out like that. I really didn't. Um, I apologize. I'm going to go. I'm going to go shower. All right, just had the shower. Felt great. Um, I feel awesome now. I really do. I really feel refreshed and... Just really proud of myself today. Uh, really, really cool. Looking back at some of the pictures, the lake just looked awesome as well. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with today. And I also got something in the mail today, which has, uh, I don't want to show you the full address. I won't show it to you at all, actually. But it says Luke Ryan, and then in capital letters, Razor Wire Reviews, which I thought was kind of cute. And inside was da -da -da, a Masters of Cinema um, review copy, basically. The Naked Prey. This is an upcoming title in the collection. As you can see there, so I have the Blu-ray uh, check disc right here. The Naked Prey, I, I requested a few of these. I didn't request this one actually. I don't know why they sent me this, but I'll happily watch it and review it because that's how much I love Eureka and Massive Cinema in general. But it says here, uh, an epic struggle for survival on the deadly plains of Africa. Um, a, a manhunt of indescribable terror and screaming suspense. So I might watch this tonight if this is a kind of a horror-ish kind of film. Or if not a horror, but kind of a scary kind of... Well, it says drama, thriller. I guess it isn't really a horror. But, um, I mean, you know, if you're, if you're describing indescribable terror, well, I guess you're not describing it because it's indescribable, but <laughs> if you're writing indescribable terror and screaming suspense, I don't know, it kind of screams horror to me, so I don't know. Maybe not. If not, I will go with what I said earlier and watch a Universal um, monster movie, which I, ha I had the whole Blu-ray set a couple of years ago, and I'm trying to work my way through them now. I've watched a couple so far. Uh, no, I actually only watched one. I watched one Island of Lost Souls in my Friday Night Ritual. That kind of felt like one, but it wasn't. So I've watched The Invisible Man, and then I have a load to choose from. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go make my hot dogs now, um, which will be nice and healthy. Again, Rome wasn't built in the day, but, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to them, to say the least, because uh, I definitely feel like I earned them. <laughs> but uh, I can't be doing that on a regular basis. Once these hot dogs are gone, uh, I'm not going to buy any again. Uh, at least until the end of, you know, at least till next year sometime, at least. So, uh, yeah, there we go, hot dog time. Okay, so I've already got a start on the uh, the editing of the first part of this series. And uh, Connie's just coming in. So, yeah. I'm trying to kind of get this edited as soon as possible. And now I'm transferring over all the videos and pictures I took today um, over to a folder on the laptop, which I've called Gilmore. <laughs> because actually most of these files contain um, videos and pictures I took from the David Gilmore show a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just going to like, clear my whole phone off because um, there's like nothing left on it and some of the apps aren't even working properly. <laughs> so yeah, that Gilmore stuff is for another vlog series coming very soon. Too many vlog series. Alright, so we're both having hot dogs actually and we're watching Ink Master which is a reality show that we watch. I know you didn't get torn one down. And the guy we don't like, his teammate just went down, so. Just gonna see his reaction. Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> That's over the top. Dun, 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 dun. I've got no 
I mean, most reality shows are just like bullshit and stuff, and there's little bits of that in this, but this one is like, you know, you get to see actual real tattoos being done and stuff, and the critique of the artwork, so, uh, yeah, we love watching it, great show, and hot dogs are ready, oh. quite small ones, what? Talking about his Marine Corps again. Of course he is, yeah, this guy's always like, well, I, I served, so. so oh. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to manage. <laughs> In fact, he always wears these dungarees, he looks like a big baby with his bald head. Which I'll film it so you can see him. Have to go back or anything. There you go. This. No. Damn it. <laughs> he seemed like a good guy at the start, but then he just turned into a manipulative little twat. It's a good shot. Yeah. A good shot. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're gonna watch this. We we just couldn't decide on a film. I had a the Wolfman ready, but you know, we have to find one that we'll both enjoy, so... Hot dogs, mustard... You enjoying your hot dogs? Yes. Yes, I want... Yeah, play. Alright, done with Ink Master. It was a, it was a pretty good episode. Nothing fantastic, but enjoyable. Um, and the horror film that we're going to watch tonight is The Others. Which you've seen, right? Yeah, like 15 years ago. And how was it? I um, remember being scared. See... For you, horror films are just not worth it if you don't get scared, are they? Really? Like you just well, you just said, there's no point if you don't get scared. No, what's the point of horror? What's the point of comedy if you don't smile or laugh? I can enjoy comedies without what's laughing. What's the point of thriller? As much as I can enjoy, as much as I can enjoy horrors without being scared. I mean, horror films don't really scare me generally, anyway. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a good movie because it's got like a higher rating. And stuff. I'm not saying that the others isn't a good movie. I'm just saying generally on the the point of um, <laughs> on the point of Lily just cuddled up against my leg. Yeah, but she ran to she it. She ran to it. Yeah, it was so cute. It's like, oh, I gotta go there. Okay. <laughs> just making a general point about horror films, I guess, really. But uh, there you go. Oh, also, as another note, I looked at one of the pictures I took earlier. What are you doing? Stop it! She keeps putting that laser thing towards me. It could go right in my eye. It's this. It's not dangerous. <laughs> yeah, um, I looked at a picture I took. I'm not going to put it in your face. Uh, earlier, uh, when I was out up by the by the lake. Uh, <laughs> the Heugen Geist case. The, the, the Heugen Geist case. Heugen Geist. We're not in fucking Germany, are we? <laughs> I thought it sounded German. Heugen guys, Huygen. Because you could just sound like, yeah. Was it again Heug? Heug van ne? Heug. Heug van ne? No? Yes, fine. Yes, fine. <laughs> she just can't even be bothered anymore. Uh, yeah, it's a picture I took earlier. And the hairline looked horrible, it looked really thin here. So, I think it might be time to cut the hair. Go short again, because I don't want to end up in, you know, five ten years with a completely balding Mr. Burns haircut. That wouldn't be very. Trust me, if you're still with me, then, yeah. Yeah. You won't be having that kind of haircut. What do you mean if? Well, just like start saying "hookwatna," right, and we'll be fine. And don't <laughs> come up with like. Oh my God. German names for Norwegian places. That's just so. Is horrible. there like a is it like a counter in your head, right? If he says Hukvatna wrong ten more go. ten more times, then I'm leaving him. No, <laughs> but if you, if too you much start to changing hand. up Norwegian names with fucking German sounding names, uh. th then you're in the wrong fucking country. I mean, yeah, no. Oh, just sounds wrong. Oh, oh, it's nuzzling in. It's like yes. Just a, the tar tarantula. We've got a hot water bottle up against the side of its cage, and uh, it's like oh God, nestling itself next to it. It is actually as well. So it must it's enjoy like, the warmth. It's like the cutest way like a tarantula can behave. It's like, oh, it's cold over here. I'm just gonna then then and then it's like curling its legs and like oh, and then goes. <laughs> Not that it has a head to do like that or whatever, but you know, yeah. it's, it's kind of cute. I can really see it now. You can just see his butt. Do yeah. it. There's that wall ball behind the uh, thing. Yeah. 
The what? The white. The white. <laughs> I thought you said the weight, the, the weight. Uh, yeah, so we're just uh, waiting for the, the others to download and then we will watch it. Um, yeah, that's about it. The hot dogs were nice. And let's have a look at the, uh, see what the downloads are like on the Battlefront beta. Should still be on. On the same screen as well, actually. Still 43 minutes left, so. There we go. Um, 5.6 gigabyte down. So I guess it's another two, another two-ish gigabyte left. So there we go. Um, I guess I'll just uh, <laughs> I don't know, just check check the computer or something while we wait for the film to be ready. Speaking of computers, and then we'll watch it. I'll be getting a new one soon. Yeah, I think you mentioned that in another video actually. Did I? Yeah. Because yeah. you said. Oh okay. yeah, you reminded me to look up. Yeah, I did. But you said I'm getting a new laptop, and I need it, by the way. <laughs> well, I do. You do. I'm not. When just are you getting it, it, by the way? Because tomorrow. 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 Cool. Should be. So. Um, Expect delivery the ninth. So I'll be able to use yours a lot more then to yeah. edit videos and stuff, or render them, because her laptop renders videos like at least twice as fast as uh, mine, yeah. if not Imagine three times. Imagine how fast the other one will be. Yeah, that's probably be ridiculous. So anyway, uh, there we go. That's that for now. All right, we're about to start the others. Have a nice drink of mango and lime sugar-free squash in carbonated water. Very nice. And the light's still on. And we're about what light? Oh yeah, we turned the light off as soon as I stopped filming. You can't watch a horror film with the lights on. You can't watch any film with the lights on when it's night time, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, Lily hasn't stopped moaning all day. So we're about to watch, and yeah, hopefully it's good. There you go. You, you can play now. I'll stop filming. I'm really bugging her with my vlogging tonight. Oh, and our subtitles are completely out of sync, so that's always good. All right, the others is done. Uh, One-handed applause. Yeah, it was great. I, I I really loved it. There was a few things about it that um, bothered me. Basically, the story. Uh, Nicole Kidman, and she has uh, two kids little boy and a little girl and they uh, <clears throat> they live in this big old house set in the 40s just after the war uh, the Second World War and then this uh, this family turns up to be the new servants of the house an old woman an old man and a young girl who can't speak uh, well she's yeah she's still a young girl compared to the other two um, so you've got six main characters all in this one big house <laughs> and the kids yeah apparently I just remembered something but what she's older than she looks She's older than she looks, yeah, that's why I said <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> very odd detail, but uh, there's Lily there. I think she really enjoyed it too. Oh, oh, scratch your ear, come on. Do it. Come on, scratch your ear. Do it, Lily. Oh, no. She's just enjoying this. She's like, yeah. Uh, so you've got the six main characters in this house in the 40s. The kids are allergic to light, and so everything has to be kind of dark and stuff. Photosensitive. Um, I thought Nicole Kidman was great. Um, I thought the young girl was really good. I thought the young boy was as well, but I have a feeling that I just, I don't know why, but I, I just have this feeling that maybe the young boy wasn't as good of an actor as her because after the first 30 minutes he seemed to not be in it as much, like there wouldn't be close-ups of him. Like there'd be a scene, there's a scene with all three of them at the table and like he's barely in the scene. Like it's almost like he's not there. I was just waiting for a close-up of him and it just didn't come. So I don't know, I, I feel like they tried to cut around his performance maybe. But in the beginning of the, of the the movie, there's like bits where he's looking really sad and stuff. And it just broke my heart. Like he was such a cute little boy. And, oh, I just wanted to give him a big hug and like it just felt really bad for him. I thought he played well though. Yeah, and then, but the little girl was great. I mean, she had a lot more to do in the film. And she's kind of seeing or hearing and just seeing things that are going on in the house. Uh, because it is a, it's a horror. Well, it's not horror. It's a kind of horror slash thriller, mystery film, and uh, you know, haunted house kind of thing. But the the way it plays out is really interesting. And she yeah, had great acting. Even the the old woman, who comes to be the servant, she was she great. Was great. She was she great. She was great as well. Best. And uh, Christopher Eccleston is also in it, Doctor Who. And uh, yeah, anyway, and his scenes are really interesting and, and weird and. Um, I thought he did well with the limited amount of kind of dialogue he had, really, to, when you think about it. But yeah, overall, um, it's a slow, slow burner. 
there's definitely things in it that kind of niggled me. Like there's this whole thing where Nicole Kidman's like, right, every door must be locked at all times, and when when you leave one door, you have to lock that door before you go to a next to another door, basically. Yeah, and that just didn't happen. It just didn't time. happen. Even like she left some doors unlocked, and that pissed me off. Yeah, I felt like it was a cool thing that they came up with in the script. Like, right, this is she's really like anal retentive. She's really like you have to lock all the doors, and it's because you know the kids and their phot photosensitivity is really you know extreme. So I liked the idea of it, but when it came into kind of working it How into, hard can it be? well, I, I think that it would kind of slow down the film a little if every single scene you have someone turning around and locking a door. Yeah, that's yeah. why I think that they didn't do it. But at the same time, I think they should have just cut the line out because otherwise, it just they it, don't have to it stood out to both either. of us, didn't it? Yeah, they don't have to show it, but then there's a lot of people walking just through have doors. To hear the there's a lot of oh, what's going on there? I got to leave this room, and then she leaves the door wide open. And I guess you can count it down to kind of you know. The more that strange things start happening, the more that she starts, you know, becoming unhinged and stuff like that. But now, what really made the film, I thought, was the ending, uh, the last maybe 15, 20 minutes of the film. It's like, oh shit, you know, a twist, which I did call. I'm not going to say what the twists are, but the first twist I called, I was like, oh, could you imagine if? And I kind of thought that might have been what it was, and it was, and it was like, oh shit. Yeah, it was a great twist. And then it's like, and then it's like, by the end of the film, it's like, that's nothing. That's like nothing, you know. And just the way that it it kind of played through, I can't really talk about it without spoiling it, but I just you really didn't liked. You get it right away either. I didn't. You got it first, but I liked I liked how how it changes the film and how it kind of and I don't know. Maybe you can guess, and I, I feel almost bad saying that there's a twist, you know, but. Um, I really liked it. it yeah, it was giving me chills down my legs right now. It's yeah, like, it's not it wasn't that good, but I mean, for me, I think it was very good because it was like. Hey, I'm just like saying, I'm not. Twist, let's just like twist it bone dry because. Like, but it made sense, and then you kind of go, okay, yeah. right. So that's kind of that's what, you know. It was great. Yeah, you kind of you second guess things, and there's definitely that part. So I was like, oh, so why are they revealing that now? You know, it would have been cool if they had left it till later on. I thought, oh, okay, that does actually make sense. And it makes you want to watch the whole movie over again. Yeah, it's definitely one I want to watch again. See it, uh, obviously, like... not for a long time because I'm like that with films. I don't like to rewatch them very often. Um, at least like to leave a year before most films I watch again, but it's definitely one. Yeah, I'd give it like a... I don't know. I don't know. I f it reminds me of a different movie that you kind of want to watch over again after you see the ending, but I can't say which movie it is without <laughs> kind of spoiling things, but you know what movie I mean. I don't, but, but you, you said this wasn't the film you thought it was when you said you'd seen it 15 no, years ago. No, I, I like, don't even know. <laughs> What's the other movie? I don't know. I, it was I, don't know I don't know what the other movie is. Maybe it's just because it's been so many years. It came out in 2001, and I think I saw it about the same year. Okay. So it's been 14 years since I saw it. Yeah. I mean, how much can you remember? Yeah. And I, I, I only ever watch horror movies when he's here, because I can't stand watching yeah. it alone. But it's it's really good. It deserves a higher rating than it's got, I think. Yeah, I would definitely give it at least a nine at this point. That's that's how, how much I liked it. Anyway. I'm glad you did. Mm. Yeah, really good. Just strong performances, good story, and uh, a twist that really worked. It wasn't like a oh twist. Like I mean, sometimes twists they seem to be there just for the sake of it, just for the sake of going uh huh huh, or like this one made sense and it worked, and I liked how it concluded and Both how it, twists. And, and the implication, of, yeah, both twists made sense, and just the implications of it and stuff. So, yeah, top film, really, really enjoyed it. I can't believe I didn't remember any of that. Maybe I didn't see it. Maybe you didn't see it. <laughs> but I, I think I feel like I remember the door locking thing, but mm. none of the others. Pass me the uh, remote control, please. Let's see how the Battlefront beta is doing. Should be done by now. The film is about an hour and 40 minutes, so. Yeah. So that, uh, that was that. I mean, I would love to start like gushing about the actual spoiler itself, but I'll leave it. And if you've seen the film, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about, or what we're talking about. And suffice to say, I loved it. So yeah, okay, it's installed. So I'm gonna have a little play of it before I go to bed, and then that's that's my night. So yeah, you got anything else you want to add about the film? No. You should watch it. Yeah, yeah, it's not one to read. You can't really go in depth that much, can you? Really, just it no, was it just. Well, yeah, I mean, it's set in the old times though, so just be prepared for that because since I thought I'd seen it before, I thought it was going to be a more modern movie. I thought it would be something about the other house, like the, the neighbor's house, and that she's oh, going over there. No, no. Is there a movie with her where 
there's a no. house next door? Not that I know of, not that I've seen all of the films, but... Where? Yeah. Like no, the, the whole film takes place inside the house and the grounds, basically. Yeah. It doesn't go outside it, and again... I Don't mean, forget the, uh, the main character, the fog. The fog. <laughs> <laughs> there's a fog coming. Reminded me of Ryan Chataway's video. <laughs> I wasn't gonna kill him! I was just gonna scare him! <laughs> Alright, so... On with Battlefront. I don't know if we'll be able to record any of the footage, we'll just we'll see what happens and if I have anything to say then I'll I'll film more in the bathroom or something. <laughs> Which by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned yet, we now have our or Connie has her tarantulas. Yeah, she's now she's she's moving her tarantulas now into the uh, into the bathroom. So whenever I need to go in there and do a you know what, sitting right next to me are three tarantulas. Which is actually fine, it doesn't really bother me because I can't really see the big one anyway. Uh, you want to film? Don't get him that close. Glad. Okay, okay, get him a little closer. All right, there's a, there's a big one. Oh, covered her little head. And that's the other one. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Yeah, I can see it kind of. Okay. And the other one's there. It's too dark. Anyway, those. No, are I can see it. Those are three tarantulas. Harley is the biggest one. The middle one is Cassie from Cassie Go Pay It. And then you have Smithy because Smithy. that's how original the names I give them are. <laughs> it's a B Smithy. Yeah. Okay, let's uh let's check out back. I'll just do it right now and see what happens. See if we can stream it. If we can stream it then I'll uh I'll stream it. Ah yes, yeah, see gameplay recording pause because you entered a blocked scene. Well, fair enough. It is a beta after all. Pre-release software and as a technical test, some parts of the game might not be functional during the beta. So there we go. Well, I guess I'll just have a play of this and let you know how it is as I'm playing it. Or, or I don't know, actually because Connie's going to bed. But, uh, yeah. In fact, you know what? I guess this video doesn't need to be longer than it already is. It's, you know, there's no real point or reason to that, so... I think we'll leave it here, and uh, the cat is still crying. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, if you have and enjoyed this three-part day-in-the-life adventure of a very mundane day. Well, it was a good day, going out and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's just, I enjoyed talking to my mum, that was a good, that's always a good lift to have a chat with her on Skype and stuff, and it's great how easy it is just to pick up the phone and Skype, so... Yeah, I'll have fun playing a little bit of this. It's uh, it's almost midnight as well, so I feel, feel like I should just round the video off. And uh, I'll talk about the Battlefront beta in an upcoming episode of um, The Road to Episode 7. So I don't need to uh, oversaturate my videos with this. But I'm excited to get cracking on with it, if it'll work. Who knows? I mean, uh, again, it is beta, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people are on there right now. It's open worldwide, so yeah, it should be fun though if it does work. I'm a big Star Wars fan. It's nice hearing the kind of music and stuff, and seeing a big TIE fighter on the screen. Uh, I'm unapologetically a very huge Star Wars nerd. Ah, it's unblocked itself now that I've finished signing all the agreements and stuff. Maybe I will be able to stream some of this, who knows. Um, if I have, then you're seeing this part of the video. If not, you're not, so... Alright, let's see if this will work. Star Wars Battlefront, the beta, although it's coming out like next month, so <laughs> they should get a move on really. Oh, this music. And deactivate the shield generator. Wow, color, bright, color, color, bright, color blind profiles. You can change it if you have a blue yellow color blindness, a red green color blindness. Very interesting. I probably should pick, pick, pick one of those, but I'm not going to. Drop zone walker or something. Okay, so well, let's go for let's just jump right into a big multiplayer. Oh, okay. <laughs> they suggest I don't do that. <laughs> let's try this then. Oh, I'm I'm on the Empire side. <laughs> Escape pods crashing down on the planet. Rebels and Imperials must claim them. So we got to get the escape pods. So this is on Sullust. I doubt the defense they have is greater than it is on Aquilae or Sullust. Whatever they do have is likely directed toward a large-scale assault. So they've already started, I need to just jump in. 
Oh my god. What do I do? Listen to that blaster sound. This is Star Wars. I need to change my view though, I hate this view. We have the a smart rocket, what? Do not let it fall into the hands of the Rebel Alliance. Oh, here we go, yes. Okay, I just got killed. I'm not sure how I like this aiming system though. Rebel scum are about to claim that escape pod. Oh, X-Wing, man. This is mental. Listen to the music as well. This is crazy. Just crouch down. Shite. Maybe this is the best way to play in first person, I just don't know. I prefer third person majorly though. I have to say though, the how quick it was to just get into this game was really impressive. Like it took like a minute. And even then I was taking my time, like jumping in and stuff. Oh check that out. Burns out X Wing. Awesome. Star Destroyer. Yeah, this game just looks incredible. Definitely not my style of game, like generally, but because it's Star Wars. TIE Fighter. See, I don't know how much replay value this game will have if it's just the same few arenas, you know, or same few locations. I mean, I suppose that's the Call of Duty generation, really, isn't it? Oh, this music reminds you of Shadows of the Empire. Well, obviously it's from Empire Strikes Back, but you know. And the Empire again. The oh my god, look at this. It's beautiful. Station. This is beautiful. What? No way. Oh my god, yes. Oh, you can only move with the... With the right stick. Oh my god, I'm getting shot down. Damn. Finally, I killed someone, yeah. I love how like the sound goes all muffled when the like the bombs hit off and stuff. Oh my god, I got killed by Luke Skywalker. Fuck. There's Vinto. Heavy ground support. I'm in what? How does this even work? There's Vinto down there. <laughs> Seven kills in that. <laughs> nice. That was pretty fun once I got inside the thing. You made it. Thank the boss. Great job holding the Imperials back so far. For me. Right, so that'll be it, I think, for the for the stream. But uh, yeah, it seems very very good so far. Um, but I'll probably play more of it. But uh, the initial thoughts are very very good. Um, not sure um, if I'd buy it on release, maybe around Christmas, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'll be playing it and uh, talking about it more in another video, so stay tuned for that. So there we go, that is it. Thank you for watching, and uh, good night.
So you might say he's, he's a really nice guy, really. But if fucking don't catch it with me, <laughs> he says he's really cool, but I think he's a tool. <laughs>